Here's Amelia arriving at school. Good morning, Toby. Is that Toby? Mrs. Cartmel is there to meet him. Are you excited? Yeah. Are you going to be Sir Toby today? Nine to one in Castle. Today at Mia Green, there is going to be a very special trip. We're going to Warwick Castle. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. I'm going to be a knight. How lucky! Visiting a castle. Can you hold my hand. Oh. Right, this is our bus. We're getting on to go to Warwick Castle. Let's get going. On to the bus, everyone. We're going to castle. Time for a sing-song with Miss Mills. The wheels on the minibus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the minibus go round and round, all day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the minibus goes beep, beep, beep. Toby is pretending his hand is a spider. Ah! Can you get away from me, Toby? I don't think Amelie likes spiders. <laughs> Can I get over again? Ah! Oh, look! Oh, look. Oh, look. Oh, look. They're nearly at the castle. Oh, have they arrived? This doesn't look like a castle, does it? One, two, three, we're here! Yeah. We're at the castle! Come on then, here we are at the castle, on, careful! Yeah. That's it, you jump down and find your partners! That's it, find your partners! Welcome to you two, so you walk along! Here we are at the castle! And that's so cool! Look there! A castle! <gasps> wow, look at the castle! Ah, here's the castle. Wow, look how big it is. I think it's some dragons in here. Dragons? Oh, I hope not, Toby. Oh, look. I think this is a great hall. <gasps> wow. Oh, wow. Oh, look. It's a man dressing up as a knight. Armour is made of metal which protected the knights when they went into battle. So this is the first part of the helmet. It comes in two pieces to make sure you can move your head properly. OK, so now the crowning glory, the salé. And there we have it. The 15th century harness of plate armour. What do you think? Does it look good? Yeah! In goes the sword. There we go, the look is complete. That's better, isn't it? Fantastic. Have you got any questions? I do, I do, I do. Yes. Why do knights have to fight dragons? Well, dragons tend to cause lots of devastation, don't they? If you defeat a dragon, you'll be famous. You'll be very heroic and very brave. Although they are a bit scary, aren't they, dragons? Have you got a real horse? Have I got a real horse? Yeah. Well, we have a very special horse downstairs called Fortune. You have to pop down and have a look. Yeah. 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 Children, can we say a big thank you to the knight? Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to meet you. Can you see how shiny the armour is? I think we've got a few steps to climb. Oh, no. That's a very tall tower. We can't get up there. We can. We're going to climb there now. I can't get that big. I can. I can go up to there. It's a long way to climb up. You have to go all the way up there to 
to the big tower, look. Why? Just a few more steps, Amelia and Toby. Up here. Yeah. Up here. Everyone looks so small from down below. At last, they're at the top of the castle. Phew! Let's go, man! Go really high up! Yes! Time to climb all the way back down again. I'm holding on the whole way. Carefully, does it? I did it. Well done. I wonder what they'll find next. Do you remember the knight was saying about Fortune the horse? Yeah. That's Fortune. Is it real? Looks like it, but no, I don't think it's real. <laughs> Just the horse. Have you seen Wicked his tail? Who would like to try in a helmet? Right, let's let Dylan have a go. Right, Dylan, turn to face all your friends. Right, how does it feel, Dylan? Nice, Dylan likes it. This is our very own night, Dylan. Thanks, Dylan. There are so many interesting things to see. Medieval toilet. They didn't have fancy toilets like us. Are you be his princess? Toby and Amelia are enjoying the castle together. Where to next? Princess! Look, the royal princesses. Head on upstairs to see my friend Princess Lily. She's waiting for you. Welcome to the Princess Tower. My name's Princess Lily, and you met my friend Princess Eve outside. And now we need to go upstairs and help our sister, Princess Isabella. So are you ready? Yeah. Yes, but this room is very magical. This is our royal wish room here at Warwick Castle. So what we all need to do, you need to hold hands with the person next to you. Oh, my hand. That's it. Hold the hand of someone. And then we're all going to close our eyes. And after three, I need you all to whisper a very special wish. And this room can hear your wishes. And if you truly believe, one day they might come true. So are you ready? Close your eyes. Hold them hands tight. And after three, one, two, three, make your wishes. What would you wish for? Have you all made your wishes? Yes. yes. Now I need a big royal cheer after three. One, two, three. Yay! Follow me through yeah! this door and up the stairs. Well, hello everyone and welcome to the princess room. Now my name is Princess Isabella and I'm so pleased you're here. In the fairy tale, a tiny pea is buried under lots of mattresses on a bed. If you can feel the pea when you sit on top of the pile, it means you are a true prince or princess. How will Damara do? Now, Damara, can you feel anything? Yeah. What can you feel? A lump. A lump? <gasps> Damara, do you know what that means if you can feel the pea? It means that you are a real princess. We have found a real princess. Yeah. Hooray for Princess Damara. And everyone gets a magic pea to take home. The children, put them safe in your pockets so you don't lose your magical pea. It was lovely to meet you all. Yeah. Bye-bye. Children, look who's come. It's the brave knight. Who feels strong enough to hold the sword? Yeah. Okay. Hold it tight with two hands. Hold it tight. There you go. Fantastic. Is it heavy? It is heavy. Okay, we'll let somebody else hold it now, okay? My lady, you're going to step forward? Oh, is it heavy? No. No? No. Wow, you're a warrior princess then, aren't you? Hold it tight. You think you could be a knight? Yeah. 
Okay, Especially okay, with that. Nah. Well nah. done. One more high five. Yeah. Yeah, one more. Go on. Fantastic. Everyone has had a brilliant day at the castle. And now it's time to go home. Children, have you had a good day? What was your favourite part? My one, my one was climbing up the My friend never climbed the dragon. The dragon? Welcome to Mia Green School. This is Sophie with her baby brother. Phoenix is playing with her baby sister. Is she smiling? People. No. No. People. People, baby. I love you. Oh, how sweet. Here's two more sisters, Evie and Maisie. Time to start the school day. Evie and Maisie are the same age, four years old. They're twins. <laughs> Mum has two daughters to say goodbye to. Their teacher, Miss Mills, wants them to draw a special picture. Maisie, you do a picture of your sister Evie. And Evie, you do a picture of your sister Maisie. What do you think? Funny. That would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because you two are sisters, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Would you like to draw, do a picture of your sister? Yeah. Would you? You said it at the same time. So, Evie, you do your picture of Maisie on this side, and Maisie, you do your picture of Evie, and at the end, we'll look at each other's together. But you can't have a little peep. Is that OK? I never do peeping. Are you sure? I can't wait to see what they're both like. Oh, it's lovely to have a sister, isn't it, a twin? This is going to be fun. What do you think the pictures will look like? Maisie starts with a blue crayon. What are you drawing? And Evie chooses yellow. Blue colour eyes, Maisie, yes? I need to do blue colour eyes then. Just a few final touches, Maisie. Oh, wait, wait, what colour? What colour, Maisie? Black. Her hair's not black, Danny. It's like a blondie colour, so I'd use that. It's yellowly gold. Black one. They both finished. Keep it a secret. Right, get yours off quick. Keep it a secret. Let's see the pictures. Ready? One, two, three, show! Don't go in. Evie, do you love it now? Yeah. She loves it? Don't go in. Oh, do you think of her one? Don't go in. She loves it? Yeah. Oh, well done, girls. Those are beautiful pictures. It's break time. Ruby is drawing on the ground with some chalk. And so is Tom. He's drawing a face. <laughs> I wonder where Maisie and Evie are. They're playing on the seesaw. Seesaw! <laughs> Oops, that was a big bump. Maisie thinks it's very funny. 
Maisie's fallen off again. Look, Lucy wants to play with the two sisters. <laughs> no, no one can live to me, strong panther. I'm too strong. <laughs> I don't think standing on a seesaw is a good idea, Evie. Now I'm gonna sit down this time. That's better. Sit and seesaw. What a great playtime for everyone. Time to go back inside. Maisie and Evie might be twins, but they don't have to do everything together. Maisie is making a pasta necklace with Miss Roden. Call it a pasta. Me a different type of blue. And Evie is drawing coloured pictures with Casey. Oh, uh, it's actually with uh, what I draw, so I need that pen. Didn't I have that pen? Oh, Evie is singing while she draws. What pattern is it? One red, red two blues. One red, red two blues. See if you can make the same pattern, Maisie. Maisie, you start off with orange, blue, orange. Good girl. Make a necklace. Oh, look, everybody. Maisie's done her pattern. Oh. Tell everybody what your pattern is. Onions, blue, blue. Onions, blue, blue. Onions, blue, blue. Well done. Can you put yours onto a necklace now? Yeah. <laughs> Good girl, Maisie. Are you doing it? Yeah. Good girl. I think Evie likes using the colour blue and lots of it. Oh, finished. Right, I need to get another one. They're all over here now. Now we're going to put it as a necklace on you, okay? Where are you, Tom? Right, Maisie, can I have a photo? Lovely pasta necklace, Maisie. But remember, you can't eat it. Time to play. I wonder what's happening here. Oh, I see. Maisie and Evie are collecting dry leaves in the bin. Look, they're both wearing red coats. Yeah, but I did. Jacob's got his own bin. Dylan is helping him fill it with leaves from Maisie and Evie's bin. Cheeky. I don't think the girls are too happy. It's a game to see who can collect the most leaves. Stop no. I'm going to go and get some more help. Evie asks her friends to help. We've got loads of help. Who do you think will collect the most leaves? Clever idea, Evie. That'll stop the boys taking your leaves. 
It looks like Maisie and Evie's team have won the game. Time to go home. Maisie can't wait to show Mum her picture of Evie. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And here's Evie's drawing of Maisie. <laughs> hey, look! Shay's baby brother is waiting for him. <laughs> Brothers and sisters are special friends. It's morning at Mia Green School, and everyone wants to play. Look, Tom and Phoenix are playing hopscotch. Peekaboo, Amelie. Toby's found a barrel to play with. Morning. You're playing today. Mrs. Cartmill is waiting for Amelie. Roll up your sleeve. Miss Mills has plans for Tom and Toby, Ruby, Jacob and Amelie. They're going to make delicious biscuits. So, Amelie, can you put the sugar in the big orange bowl for me? Now, sugar goes in the bowl first. Um, Ruby, and some butter. Sticky. Great. And sticky syrup. Oh, I put quite a lot in. <gasps> Jacob, you're going to mix it now. Mix it all up. So you're following instructions? I'm crushing oh, up all the butter to make it the right size for the mixing. Yeah, you put that in. Don't forget the egg. <laughs> right, good boy, Jacob. You give it a mix now with the egg in. Isn't Jacob good at mixing? Remember to hug it really tight with your arm like that. That's it. Right. Are we ready to sieve flour? Oh, we're taking time. Amelie is using the sieve to shake the lumps out of the flour. The snow. That's it. Oh, that's it. Try and keep it in the bowl. That's it. Oh, oh it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Oh, I'm it. Is it kneading time? Watch, watch me smells when I'm kneading. Push. Push. Okay, that's kneading. Right, so Jacob. Right, you have a go at kneading. That's it, Jacob. Get your hands right in the bowl. Right, so what we'll do now, I'll give you each some dough. Toby rolls out the biscuit mix. He's put some flour on the table to stop it sticking. Some for Amelie. Well done, Amelie. Yours is perfect. Mum is not sticking. It's ready for cutting out some biscuit shapes. Well done, Amelie. Nice and neat. Look, Toby's is going on the train now. Look. Look at all that. Look at all what you've done. Aren't you clever? Yeah. Right, should we count them slowly and carefully? One. This one. This one together. Two. Three. This one. Four. Five. Six. Hang on. Six. Seven. Eight. How many? Eight. Eight yummy biscuits ready to go carefully in the oven. After making some real biscuits, Toby and Amelie are playing in the toy kitchen. Toy mixer.
Is the orange juice ready, Amelie? Ready to clean up, Amelie. Just the ironing to do now. That's the fridge, Amelie. Maybe she wants cool clothes. Outside, everyone. I wonder where Amelie and her friends are going. gone so beautiful and they've gone oranges and browns and reds and yellows and gold. we thought you might want to do a big dragon picture that breathes fire a dragon made out of leaves what a brilliant idea toby gathers lots of leaves well done you got all those Right, children, how many legs does a dragon have? Two. Okay. Two. Four. Four. So go and find me four legs. What can we use this for, though? It's quite big, isn't it? A uh, sword! That can be his tail. More leaves for dragon scales, please. I like that one. Where could we put that? Maybe we could make a spotty dragon. Spread them all out so that they're all over the middle of his body. Okay, where's the eye? Somebody went off to look for something for an eye. Oh, two beech nuts. Brilliant. So we've got two eyes now. Look. Let's see where could we use that. We'll put that, we'll make that his ear. Whoa, what a fierce looking dragon. Amelie and her friends have had great fun outside. I wonder if the dragon will fly away. Full of energy now, we've had a great time outdoors. <laughs> the biscuits have cooled down. Time to decorate them. I Amelie, did that was yours. Thund. Jacob, that was yours. And that was yours. Oh, it's that one. Now I'll be just over there while you're decorating. Any problems, any help needed, come and ask Miss Mills, OK? I'll call you over. Right, I think Amelie's going to start. That's it. Off you go, children. You need your Amelie put some over. big dollops of icing sugar on. You might have to share the spoons because there's only three. Yeah. Shall I help? Yeah. Nice of you to help, Tom, Jacob. <laughs> Careful not to spill, Toby. I need to put some more writing on. I'm trying really hard. I'm trying really hard. I'm trying super hard. I'm trying mega hard. I'm trying super mega hard. I'm trying super duper super mega hard. No, I am. No, I am. Tom is too. Because I am the to do my Hey, I got icing on. I don't need icing. Amelie only wants a few decorations on her biscuit. It's all finished. Mills! Mills, I need to wash my hands. Once you're 100% happy, I don't. She can wash her sticky hands. I'm spreading mine about with my spoon. Yeah. Right, how are you all getting on? I'm making a boy. You've covered yours in lovely icing, just like Miss Mills. Look. Did. 
Wow, yours looks fantastic. I spreaded it about with my spoon like this. Oh, to make it really smooth. Well done. Toby wants some orangey bits on his biscuits. Yeah. Right, Amelia, have you finished? Come on then, you need to go outside then, Lily. Tom's finished too. I haven't finished. Jacob wants to add a few more decorations. I don't think you can fit any more on, Jacob. What delicious looking biscuits. Jacob can't wait to eat them. Here's Sophie with her mum and older brother Nathan. She's brought a furry friend with her. Morning, Jack. Nice hat, Tom. Coats off, ready to start the school day. Sophie shows her toy dog to Lily May's baby sister, Molly. I think she likes it. I didn't know dogs used computers. Mrs. Cartmore wants to meet Sophie's dog. Sophie, who's this that you've brought in today? Who? My dog. Lucky. Yeah, my dog. Aww. Really? It's got a little hole in it, but I don't It's got a little hole. What's that from? Oh, that, that, this is from Socks, Mama. Is that where they made him? Sophie, can we keep him in the going home box until the end of the day to keep him safe? Yeah? Let's go and put him away then. Right, let's go and pop him in the going home box then. Lucky is safe in the box and Sophie gets on with her day. Right, off we go. Miss Mills wants everyone to follow her outside. I wonder why. Follow the wriggly snake. Sophie can't wait to find out what they'll be doing. Right, we are going to build some little shelters. <gasps> Building shelters? How exciting! So, if you can just stand up, put your hand up, and then pair up with the first person you see. Okay. Now, pair up with another pair, so there's four of you. Sophie joins up with three of her friends. friends you four are going to work together to build a house yeah. out of sticks where he can sleep at night time. Yeah. Off you go then, you work together. Yeah. Where will Sophie find sticks? Yeah. Near trees, yeah. of course. Yeah. Oh. That's a good place to build a shelter, Sophie. <laughs> what a big stick, Toby. <laughs> and Sophie's got one too. Now, wow, look at that. I reckon that's big enough for you. Amelie. It's almost big enough for you. Put your little woodland creature inside. Carefully. If I lift it up, put him in. Sophie makes her toy comfortable. <laughs> Who's inside the tent? Oh, it's Sophie! And who else is in there with you? Oh, your woodland friends. Yeah. Come on in, Toby. to come and look at Sophie's shelter. Everyone! 
Toby, was this yours? And then me. Toby. Daddy. Jack C, was it yours? Tell us about your den. What's special about it? I found this big thingy for big big leaves and we got some like leaves on there. You put some sticks there. Yeah, what and for? I got all these in there for the for the dog can't get wet. So the dog doesn't get wet. What a great shelter that is. Do you know that shelter seems good enough for a human being? If I was stuck out in forest school overnight tonight. I think I would choose to come into this yeah, den. Me too. Fabulous. Sophie and her friends have made a brilliant shelter. It's playtime. <laughs> Sophie and Jacob each have paint brushes. They are painting with water. We have turned the sticks and brushes right now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Go on. losing his stick. Yes. Who is Sophie watching? We'll shoot it off. It's Ruby and Lily May playing with paintbrushes. Oh, that was good. The paintbrushes go in the top and pop out the bottom. Uh, Ruby, I'm not sure if you should put one down there. You might lose it. Sophie is going to help Ruby get her paintbrush back. It's stuck inside. And here's Jack to help too. Ruby has told Mrs. Cartmel about the problem. Oh, come and show me then. What happened to the paintbrush? Down there. It went down there. So how are we going to get it out now? Tip it over. What a good idea, Sophie. Oh, was it? Are you sure? Oh, there it is. Did it come out? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, it snapped. Don't worry. We'll we'll put it on a new stick. Yeah. That was good, wasn't it? How clever are you? Well done, Sophie. All the paintbrushes are back where they belong. <laughs> Sophie is playing families with Toby and Amelie. Amelie is pretending to be the baby. You're right, Mummy. I need a pillow. A pillow. Mm. Sophie and Toby are mum and dad. The toy brick is made out of sponge, so it's nice and soft. Oh, look after the baby while you're gone. Okay. Daddy, just going to get something. Sophie to sends to Toby to the shops to buy baby Amelie a toy. Oh, gosh, here's some more. He's got a, he's got a pig. That's a teddy. He's got a teddy for ya. No, no, no. Oh dear, baby um, Amelie doesn't like the toy pig. I'm going to go pop to my more fan's house a little bit. I'm coming with ya. But how about baby? Huh? They're coming over here to see us. Sophie and Toby are going somewhere. Who's going to look after the baby? My baby's quiet. We left the house because you don't want your friend looking at you or nothing. No, back now. Back now. Good. They've come back. Baby, baby, 
baby's asleep. Be careful not to wake the baby, Sophie. Ah, oh, Sophie gives baby and Mealy a big cuddle. Time to go home, and Sophie is getting go. ready to leave. Have you got everything? Mm -hmm. No. No. What else do you need to get? Lucky. Lucky. Yeah. Where is he? Out in the gung ho box. Come on then, let's go get him. Off we go. Let's go get Lucky. I hope Lucky's enjoyed being at school. Mums are waiting outside. Bye bye, Sophie. And Lucky the dog, of course. Here's Jacob arriving at Mia Green School. Amelia's happy to be seeing her friends. What will their teacher, Miss Mills, have in store for them today? Hey, Are you OK? Yeah. Hello, Jacob, loving. Are you both all right? Yeah. <laughs> Here goes the bell. Everyone has arrived. Before Jacob can play in the sand pit, they have to take the rain cover off. Pull it! Pull! Pull! Use your muscles! Well done. Look! Jacob, Sophie and Jack are digging for buried treasure. Wow! They found some gold! Okay. Do you find gold? Where ah, the thing you gone? There it is. Dig. Let's keep digging. Keep digging. You push. There it is. my car. <laughs> Jacob is building a tower out of wheels. We don't need, we don't need the car, do we? Careful with that sand. Jacob is right behind you. Go with me. Oh dear, the sand has gone all over Jacob. Mrs. Cartmel will need to talk to them. Sand hurts if it goes in your eyes. Okay, I think, Jack. She was chucking sand at me. Okay, Sophie, did you mean to throw sand at the boys? By accident. Pardon? By accident. When you're digging, can you try and be really, really careful so that you don't throw sand on anybody? If I can catch Yeah, because what happens if sand goes in your eyes? Um, like sand. Does it hurt? It hurts yeah. a lot, doesn't it? No, I feel like... So, uh, uh, Jack, no, don't throw the sand over there, lovey, please. I do. You can, go, you can move over there and, and keep the sand in the sand pit, OK? See? I didn't do that. I didn't do this. That's it. Good boy. We find some treasure. Oh, well done. Jacob's much happier. Everything's OK now. Jacob is building something out of toy bricks. Can you see how he puts the bricks together? Jack's come to see what he's building. These are my bricks. That's a gobbledygook machine. That's a hovercraft. It hovers along the roads like this. And this is a hovercraft. And now I've started to make something super duper fast engines. Six engines in this. Why? Is that a lot of engines? 
This has got 603 million thousand hundred engines. Wow, that many engines, Jacob. Very clever, Jacob. Evie is sweeping up sand from the indoor sand pit. Right, children, come on, you can help me find your prospects. Jacob is going to help. Look how much sand is collected. Is that a lot? I've done a party going there too. We're working together. I collected lots. Well done, Jacob. You yeah. collected Am lots. I making Imagine all that sand him. going in the bin. There'd be no sand left in the sand pit, would there? No. So I'm collecting lots of it okay. and putting it back in. Well done. Evie, you're doing a great job with that broom. Watch you don't sweep Jacob up, Evie. I got caught in that broom. Is it nice walking together? Yes. I'm just going to check if we're done. No, we don't. I'm well, making a pile over here for you. Thank you, Ruby. When are you going to empty that in the sand pit? I think we can run out and play now, Jacob. Jacob, I think we can go and play now. I've finished now. I'm it's finished. all tidy. This is much more easier. Has all the sand been swept up? Let's... Evie, you missed a bit. Not quite. Well done. Good teamwork. Miss Mills has invited a special visitor to school. We've got Andy, who is a, a real potter. He's brought his potter's wheel and he's going to show you how to make pots using clay. OK, Andy, over to you. Will you put in some more in your hands? Because if I didn't use water, the clay will stick. The water makes it easy for me to shape the clay. And then I put a hole in the middle. Look how Andy uses his hands to shape the clay just how he wants it. Getting bigger and bigger. I'm squeezing the clay with my fingers. And when I squeeze the clay, it goes bigger. You're getting bigger. What do you think I'm making? A pot? No. Watch what I do now. What's that bit I've done there? A spout. Well done. Why do I need a spout? So you can show the eye. That's right. Good. Well done. I've got a handle. A handle. Well, Anybody think why I can't put a handle on this now? Well done. It's soft. This one is now hard. I can put a handle on it. Make a wiggly worm and bend it and put it on. A big fat worm. A bit of water because it makes it stick. Stick. Is that a handle? Yeah. That looks like a pan. Watch this. It's going to get longer. And when that's dry, I can play it. Leave it now. Jacob's turn to make something with the clay. We'll put it in the middle for you. Jacob's going to make a deal. Put your two hands like that. And just push down. Use all your strength. Can I make it wider? That's good. Well done. Oh, I think we've got a natural here. Look at that. 
Right, now get a nice shape there. Just use your fingers to make a nice edge. Nice and gentle with your hands, Jacob. Oh, I think that looks nice. What does it look like? What do you think you've made? A bowl. A bowl, yes. That's very good. Excellent. It's a lovely bowl. Well done. Look, it's Amelie's turn with the clay. Put your hand here, up against the clay. Right, now push down. Right. What's it feel like? Soft. Soft. Right, that's a nice shape. Well done. Now, try and make that hole bigger. Can you see how Amelie shapes the bowl? That's it. See, it's getting bigger. Good. All finished. Did you like that? Wash your hands in the bucket. What do we say to Andy? Thank you. Thank you. Time to go home. Oh, Mummy, you won't believe what we've done today. We had a potter's wheel in today. You should have seen it. Her little hands. Do you mind? Amazing, with like a proper potter's wheel. Oh, well done, Amelia. Yeah. She was a complete natural at it, weren't you? Oh, you well. loved it, didn't you? <laughs> See you tomorrow, Amelie. Who is it? <laughs> Jacob has a lovely surprise. His grandparents are waiting for him.